Lyme is a proper name, which means the L in Lyme is capitalized. The D for disease is not, unless it's in a title or a heading or a header. Please note, this is important. There is no S on Lyme. It's not Lyme's. Lyme disease is a bacteria that affects humans and can be devastating. Bad. The bacteria is technically called the Borrelia burgdorferi, but there are also other Borrelia species like Myoni and Myomotai that cause Lyme disease as well. There are over 100 strains of Borrelia in the U.S. and over 300 different strains across the world. Lyme disease has different forms, meaning it can morph. It has this spiral shape form which likes to drill burrow into joints and tissues when it gets attacked it can morph into an army tank protective form called the round body or cyst i am strong it has a super secret spy form called the intracellular form goes inside of our cells and pretends to be our own cells and it can make slime and snot which is called biofilm let's look at the history of lyme disease focus focus stay with me well you may have just recently heard of lyme it's nothing new the borrelia burgdorferi bacteria has been found in a 5300 year old mummy dubbed Atsi. in 1883 europe documented Lyme disease in a really important book called the Fitzpatrick Dermatology and General Medicine. It was called Urethema chronica migrans. 1902, Carl Herxheimer and Kuno Hartmann called it ACA, Acrodermatitis chronica trophicans, or Bandwur syndrome, because I like to use really big words. 1909, in Sweden, my man Arvin noted a migrating rash he called Urethema chronica migrans, which was later shortened to EM, or Urethema migrans, and suggested it came from a tick bite. In 1930, my boy Sven Hellenstrom noted a peculiar rash with CNS disease that caused meningitis and encephalitis. He stepped up the prediction and thought it came from a spiral-shaped bacterium, a spirochete transmitted by ticks. In 1965, Dr. Sidney Robin, a semi-retired internist living in New York, described expanding circular rashes that appeared in conjunction with a peculiar type of arthritis he named Montauk Knee. I want to name something. God. In 1968, a Wisconsin dermatologist noted what appeared to be Lyme disease from a 57-year-old physician that went hunting in northern Wisconsin. Here's where the name Lyme came in. A bunch of kids and grown-ups in Lyme, Connecticut in the early 70s suffered with mysterious and debilitating issues. In 1981, Willy Borgdorfer discovered that a bacterium called a spirochete carried by ticks was causing Lyme disease. This is where Borgdorferi comes from. How is it spread? I'm so glad you asked. Most individuals that contract Lyme disease don't get it from a tick. Spiders, fleas, mosquitoes, deer flies, black flies, horse flies, and other insects transmit Lyme disease. Deer, birds, cows, horses, other mammals, and rodents can also be carriers of Lyme. Lyme disease can be spread through sex. Crap. And if moms didn't have enough stress, moms can pass it onto the babies in the womb and through the milk. CDC previously quoted 30,000 people in America contract Lyme disease each year. In 2013, a big jump happened. CDC increased that number to 300,000 Americans. That makes Lyme disease twice as common as breast cancer. For clarification, Lyme disease is found across the world and does not know border. It's been found in every state in the U.S., found on every continent except Antarctica. <laughs> Lyme is called the new great imitator. Lyme disease has over 150 possible different symptoms associated with it and will vary its presentation among each person too. In a CDC unpublished school study, the median duration of illness with Lyme disease was 363 days at an average cost of $100,000 per patient. Let's remember, it's a clinical diagnosis and the whole point of why this is important is the person suffering with health issues. Cut! That's a wrap!